Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? What up, everybody else who streams us and airs us? How's everybody doing? I'm fucking Big Pat right here. We got my cousin JoJo over here. We're here doing our thing like we typically fucking do. What do we call this shit? My fucking safety, safety meeting. meeting. Hell yeah. Hey, brother. Cheers. Cheers. So I thought about something, right? I don't know. Let me see how you feel about it, Joe. So I was thinking, so it seems like every night, for the most part, you know, we incorporate news or, you know, uh, different theories, different ideals, you know, because I mean, there's a lot, a lot of content there to talk about, but I think we should change it up tonight. I got an idea for a topic. I want to know what you think. Porn. You want to talk corn? about porn? Corn? No, porn with P. Oh, with a P? Absolutely. Yeah. I love movies. Talk of, I love movies too. <laughs> Hell yeah. So let me ask you first question right out the gate. Who's your favorite porn star? Everybody's got one. Kate Morgan. Kate, Kate Morgan? Motherfuck Kate motherfucking Morgan, baby. Ooh. She is a good looking one. She is a good looking one for sure. Space nuts. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to go with. Come on, anybody my that favorite. Can, anybody that can be in a star of a movie, that's a that's a spinoff of Spaceballs. Come on, man. Space nuts. Doesn't get better than that. It's an awesome name for a porno. Spaceballs is an awesome name for a porno too, if you think about it. My favorite porn star was a, a, a young lady named Carmen Luvana. That's all I'm going to say there. <laughs> People are going to go, who? Never heard That's of her. Check pretty it out. much what I'm doing over right now. Who? <laughs> Carmen who? Electra. Carmen yeah. Lu no, Carmen, Carmen Luvana. You'll find Carmen Electra on there, too. But anyway, so we're, porn, <laughs> right? It, it's this fucking beast within itself. It's its own entity. It's really monstrous. It really is. It's the beast um, itself. I want to say, honestly, like, in my opinion, I would think probably more people as a whole, no pun intended, around the world probably watch porn more than they would watch, watch regular television. I'm going to say... That's just my opinion. Unless you're Amish or live in one of those settlements or you know, civilizations where you don't have electricity, I think you've seen porn. Just throwing that out there. Even some right. of them Amish people, I'm pretty sure they've seen a Playboy. But think about this, right? Porn. So we we have it, and everybody who has any sort of device or access to technology, literally, has got to type in a couple of words and push push send, and you'll have porn at your fingertips. It's all completely free. Uh, some have viruses attached on to. Ooh, attached I got to, one. You know, I got one. What? Because you said you can any any keywords, right? Don't ask me why, people. It was a random conversation with me and Pat when we were talking about doing this episode. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Snowplow. Snowplow gets new gets tires. New tires. <laughs> the, you get Did results, you people. You get results. That's all I'm going to say. You got to go on this, the rabbit hole your own, but you get results. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't even think to look it up. So you looked it up. Snowplow gets new tires. Bam. All of a sudden, you got a, you got a sugar mama. <laughs> oh, great. man. So, okay. So, <laughs> Back to my point. <laughs> Hugh Hefner's the no devil. <laughs> so, okay, so let's let's talk about porn. I'm sorry, right? people, I didn't mean that. Now, everybody in their lifetime, unless you're uh, an Amish or one of those civilizations Joe is referencing that doesn't have access to the internet or or stuff like that, I had grew up, literally grew up in the era where like, you know, my dad had a whole closet full of playboys, you know, uh, everybody was passing around nudie magazines. And then we had the VHS tapes, 
right? And everybody had a VHS tape. And then all of a sudden, we started to evolve as society and DVDs blew up. And unturned porn really blew up. These kids nowadays, not only, they're spoiled. Yeah. They'll never have to know they don't the struggle. Know what it, oh, they don't know what it's like trying to watch your favorite scene on a VHS tape. Trying you're to sitting there, you're at your quiet. point, you're all like, oh my God, yes. Oh, what? Oh, I missed it? What the fuck happened? So then you got to quietly, be, you're trying to rewind while paying, looking around the house like, is anybody, nobody's up, I'm by myself still. So then you push the play button. And then the volume is really loud. You're like, fuck. So then you hurry up and you got to turn down the volume button. And then you missed your scene because you're adjusting the volume. And there was one specific. Yeah, I've been there. Okay. Basically, that's me relating to what you just said. <laughs> so what is its fascination other than the obvious? Glorification. A, a way to represent yourself using your body. Right? Well, because the human body is a beautiful thing. You know? There's... There's a lot uh, not, of not all of us. There's a lot of sick. It's not all of us. And they like to do sick shit. But I think some of these people are too much of a pussy to do this sick shit. So they just watch other people do it. I just like regular porn, but there, bro. There, there's just there's so much content. Okay, so okay, so we established you got your favorite you got your favorite porn star, and I named mine. So Okay, so say why? Well, hold on, why, 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 why is there stepmom porn? Why is there stepsister porn? Right. Why is there stepdad porn? I just want to know who out there is banging their stepmom as a child, in a, <laughs> or in a as, fucking society <laughs> that's locked down together, <laughs> or even as a grown adult. Like, think about that. You're 20. Your stepmom's 50, banging your dad. Why not? Really? It, it, people, <laughs> like, I've wondered the same thing, right? Like, you can't put go on any site anywhere. And you can't scroll through their thumbs, you know, their thumbnails of everything they got. But you always see some sort of video. Stepsister was, uh, sister, sister, stepsister was, was teasing my dick. So I had to bang her. <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, what? Or, or the new when one. Did, when did or- this become a thing? When did this become a thing? That's what I want to know. When did what 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 happened? Did I did I miss something? Or because... stepsister stuck in dryer? Stepsister stuck in dryer. First yep. off, how do you get stuck in a dryer? There you go. And how do you get stuck to the fashion to where it's only your ass hanging out? Yeah. And why what? is it that you chose to wear a skirt that day without panties? You filthy, filthy whore. Perhaps you should have been stuck in the dryer. But even Maybe that's your lesson that. to be learned. But even further than that, it, like, what makes it okay for him to just say, oh, you're stuck in the dryer. Here's my opportunity. Right? I don't see your face. I, I could say you're a stranger. Exactly. I mean, what the fuck is this? What do you think is going to become of this? <laughs> oh, I'll know. A whole bunch of inbreeding motherfuckers making cross-eyed babies. That's what's going to end up happening. And they're going to go, I don't know what happened. Well, I know what happened. This weird internet taboo fucking circulated for a solid year straight about it's okay to go bang your stepsister or your or your your stepbrother or your stepmom or your stepdad. Like what the actual fuck, man? Well, who? I mean, that, seriously, that, that wouldn't create inbreeding. Uh, the word uh, step. Uh, the word step means that there's no blood relation. They're not actually related. They're actors and actresses. <laughs> but what I'm saying, if you went to go bang your stepmom, you're not banging a relative by blood. Oh. Oh, so therefore it's not completely illegal. It's not illegal at all. Unless you're underage. Unless you, or if you have absolutely no moral value or respect for human life. Because, like, let me put it to you this way, okay? Okay, so say, okay, say you got a sister, right? And she's your stepsister. And when you met her, she was already fully grown. Okay, I'm just throwing out different variables. So she's already grown. And, uh, you know, you get to know each other. Next thing you know, uh, a, a camera pops up and you slide a dick in her butt. So now it's your stepsister. So technically, it's not 
that wrong, right? But if your parents Fine. are married, now, now what would happen? Now, just throw what, what if? What if it would happen if you're banging your stepsister and she gets pregnant? So now you two, who both are, are by law related to one another, are producing a baby. No, it's not quite inbreeding. However, it's sending the wrong message. Especially it's not, it's not it's, okay. They're not by... Uh... It's if if it's if you touch it, what you just described is if if he's subject, because it's not illegal, it's not inbreeding, <laughs> it's fucked up in the dynamics. Wicked fucked up. <laughs> like, but it's not like. Now I'm making it sound like if if my if my mom went to go get married and he happened to have a hot daughter, I would bang his daughter, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not as weird as if you had grown up with this person your whole life saying that's my sister. Cause that's how these that's I mean, that's how a lot of these things are kind of like making it big. Cause when you say stepsister, that's what most people think. You know what I'm saying? It's like you grew up with each other, you were little with each other. Cause I'm sorry, if my mom went and got married to some dude right now, I'm not calling his his kids my step my stepbrother and sister. Motherfucker, we grown. You right. just some dude who happens his your daddy is happens to be married to my mama. Right. Well, I mean, I can't. Uh, you know, I get that, but I mean, I actually, I do got a couple. I got a step brothers, a couple of step brothers, and a step sister, and uh, they're pretty cool people. I've never really called her my step sister, but my step brother, uh, like I call him my brother. You know. His, his mom his mom and my dad have been together for like 20 years almost so i mean it's you different. know that means you were a teenager but i'm not gonna go sleep with or, you because or not brother maybe you should just give it a shot all right i said it. no but but see you see how weird and fucked up that sounds that's how weird and fucked it up it is when you're looking through a porn porn fucking page and you see all these videos about family members trying to sleep with each other that's the point that we're at. There should be awareness, folks. Just don't do it, okay? It's weird. It's gross. And if you and if you get off to that, um, or how about I'm sorry, the fact you're weird? Or how about the, the fact that they just you know make pedophilia acceptable in a manner of you know how many videos when you scroll down if you go in like incognito mode, you scroll down Pornhub, so that you have no like previous history of anything. You know how much shit will be on there about talking about Catholic school girls or school gets girl gets banged after school. Da, 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 da. Yeah. There's a whole section labeled teens. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. You you really think they're talking about someone 18, 19? The niggas watching those videos, right. they ain't they ain't in their mind. They're not looking at an 18, 19 year old. They're looking at a 16, 17 year old. You can feel what I'm saying? Yo. Yeah. I've always had a weird thought about that, right? I've always thought maybe the feds were using that category on a page as clickbait, trying this to find is... out where the real predators are at. Because if you're clicking on that kind of category, well, that Mine's automatically already... somewhere is fucking sending off an alarm somewhere saying, hey, this guy's trying to look up teens on Pornhub. Maybe we should check into him, check into his history. Is he a sex exactly. offender? Things like that. I bet you it's one of those things. I don't know if like you guys know this or not. I don't know if you know this or not. College girls is its own category. Right. So you clicking on the teen shit, that just shows you like this nigga pedophile. It's crazy. But people are just there's it's fucked up. So so now porn. Okay. You know, we've we've talked about some some weird things. We've talked about some good things. No, I don't know. Let's, let's, I don't let's know. put it like this <laughs> it's the work of the devil because we that's what we talk about in the show all the time we talk about the end of the world what's coming the scriptures how it all links to each other that's just what we do porn is just another one of those things sorry i'm gonna go on a little rant i don't give a fuck when you beat your meat when you masturbate whatever you want to call it you're letting the fucking devil in as soon as you let him in that's all it takes. He's going to control you from that point forward. Right. So just think about it. All them times you keep on having, you stressed out and you can't get no coochie. So you just 
going to town on your damn self. Maybe that's why it just keeps on coming back in a circle. You letting the devil in. Why you letting the release out? You're letting him in. Facts. He's coming through your balls. You know, one thing that my mom always told me when I was growing up is that if I touched it too much, I'll go blind. Well, guess what? I'm not blind. That was a fucking bold lie. Maybe, too, maybe there's that actually too much. No, maybe, maybe there's some truth there. to that. Maybe there's no, maybe there's some truth to that that statement though. Just not in the sense that you take it. <laughs> maybe when the older generations told us that, they weren't meaning in the sense of it'll make you go blind, but it will blind you morally. Desensitize it'll be, you. Exactly, it'd be make you more 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 acceptable to watching porn, banging hookers in the ass, banging anybody in the ass. Just shouldn't do it, people. It's an exit, not an entrance. Right. All right. But it's not, all it's the poop. Yeah. But there's a lot of <laughs> but there's a lot of, you know, things that you know we all do as a generation that is just degrading among yourself. Like shit, if you really want to think about it, in the eyes of the Lord, masturbation could be considered murder. You know, because you you as a man produce life, so every time you ejaculate, you pr- you produce what's necessary I, for the life to be grown. So if you produce it and you just ejaculate it and it gets emptied into nowhere, you just killed off potential life. You just aborted your own child. Wow, that's right. You heard it here, folks. If you like any of this, go ahead and hit that like button. <laughs> Maybe you have a comment about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just want to tell people. I've never thought of. I've I, you know, I've never thought about it like that. This was not. A, this was all past idea <laughs> for the topic. I, I was not. I like. I was down with it, but I didn't really know what I was going to bring, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. But when you break it down like that, oh my god! I should. I should have at least three million children right now. Maybe that's the reason why you don't got. Maybe that's why. Maybe the reason you only got one kid. Damn it! I was literally blowing my chances. Exactly. (laughs) See what I did there. Exactly. You got to save them up, man. (laughs) Flapjack. Suddenly now I feel now I feel dirty. Flapjack Flapjack midget porn. Flapjack midget porn. I wouldn't watch that. Why is food porn even a topic? I'm high now. I'm just going to go on a rant about just random topics that are just weird with porn. Why? Well, Why? It's just one of those things. There are so many different, like, fucking Why do options you find it attractive? As a category. If, listen, if you were watching this show right now, and you hit leave this in the comments for me, and you happen to find... Big women eating food, attractive, naked, in front of in front of a refrigerator, or whatever it is. Just tell me why. What is it about it? Yeah. What or, is the fixation? Or if you know you got a really big girl with a real like dwarf sized guy, why do you want to watch that? Right. What do you really have those kind of thoughts? Is that is that why they make them? Because people have thoughts and they're like, you know, here's a thought. Let's put this person and this person together and see what happens. Like it, it, experimenting. Like, it, like if you watch, change. are you watching it because of pure curiosity? Because if so, I can be because I, I can be down for that. If you're just sitting home and you're high or drunk and you're just sitting there like. Man, I wonder what it what it looks like to see a midget fuck a big girl. I bet you that'd be funny. And you go on there that your that bear porn hub and you watch it. That's all your business. But if this is oh like legit, God. if this is like legit, your every Saturday night thing, sit down with the jerkins, sit back for a couple hours and watch me some midgets <laughs> and some grown women getting at it. <laughs> Ooh, wait. 
You might need a psychologist. It reminds me of bocce ball. <laughs> I did get a little southern in there, didn't I? You just threw a little bit of twang in there. It's all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down, big dog. <laughs> I just happens, people. Sometimes it just it comes out. Why do they have categories about machines fucking women, women or guys? Why do they have fucking machines? Why do they have these things that look like? Yo, you can get you it can, can burrow it can order. burrow a hole burrow, it could burrow a hole in through concrete at least two feet deep, but yet you're hooking that some bitch up to a dildo. You know, and these you girls can... are like, "All right, bet," and then they just sit down and get plowed by this machine. Why? What is the fixation on that? Because they ain't got no walls, bro. The walls. The women ain't got no walls. They ain't got no walls left, so so they need the machine, man. Oh. Uh, but really? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only I thing mean, I can think of, man. They ain't got I no walls like, left, Papa. Like, I'm not judging, but at the same time, I'm passing a little bit of judgment because, okay, power tools are meant the to work on stuff, to? not a vagina or an ass or whatever. You, you know what I'm trying to say. It's just not right. A sawzall is meant to cut things or for demolition, not demolition of a vagina. That's the point I'm trying to get to is that you just probably shouldn't do it. Folks, don't try it at home. Those are <laughs> professionals. Leave it to the professionals. They have years of experience. <laughs> where if you go at yourself with a fucking sawzall with a cucumber on there, you're probably going to hurt yourself. So please don't do that. You know, you can go online and you can order a doll that looks like whatever you want it to. Sure can. So that means you can make a doll that looks like anybody you want it to. Man. If you could make a sex doll of yourself, would you have sex with yourself? Fuck no. No? Do you think you're ugly? I'm a boy, Damien. You're still yourself. I'm a boy. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a real boy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's right you've never seen next Friday <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's another good topic ooh there's a topic out there but no this uh, is the reason why I said this right what? so if you're if you let's say you're somebody who has been known to stalk this woman or this man so you've gone out, and most of these stalkers make a shrine, right? So then you go out, and now you have the ability that with your shrine, you can make a doll of this person. So now you can sit back and fantasize what it's really like, right? Intensifying that fantasy, which me, which is only going to lead to more stalkers trying to do what they do with their victims, which normally ends up with their victims dead. And go ahead and they'll rape the victim and then they don't want to get caught because they feel good, they're guilty, so they kill the victim. And think, you know, I'm going to just cover it up. I'll be fine. Nah, man. Just saying. I don't know. I'm not, I, don't know. I don't really I don't really know what happened, like where we turned. We went where we turned? Hotel. Where we turn to... is sex dolls and pornography and all this shit is just to oversensitize people so that they have all these robust fantasies and everything like that. Because, like, you can get these sex dolls, right? I can make it look like anybody I want to. Let's say I've been stalking this girl for fucking years. She's got so many restraining orders against me. She's moved across the country to try to get away from me. I just followed her. Every time she does something, I, I find her type shit you know what i'm saying and like all of this shit is just making people go even fucking crazier and darker down the loom bro like you can go on these websites and just watch someone get fucking tortured and raped and all this shit like that's like all that shit's a fucking category too 
Like, why? You're just telling people that that's okay. That that she wants right. that. Making it normal. Like, I'm going to tell you. It doesn't seem out of the ordinary. Tell you guys straight out here. All y'all. Your lady does not want to get raped. Does she want you to get a no. little rough with her? Of course. Raped? No. No woman wants to get raped. Ever. Fucking idiot. And if you think you think it's okay, then perhaps you should be raped just to see what it feels like. You got this big fixation about it. Exactly. Like, eye for an eye, motherfucker. But that's consensual that, is one thing. That's it. There's no other. And there's no other variable. It's just consensual, or it's not happening. But that's that's where these things has got it all fucked up. They're making gen, like a whole new generation of people feel like this is okay. Like shit, we even had right. a book and a TV and a movie that was, you know, number one in in the world. Like, that went crazy. People went crazy for it. That was pretty much a girl, a young girl in a relationship with an older man, to where she signed a contract that he can do whatever the fuck he wants to her. Like, how is that okay? No, it's not okay. Why? Like, But then we also live in a world where we got people like allegedly R. Kelly and Usher that sit there and kidnap women and hold them against their will against with their family. Not sometimes not even kidnap them, but do shit with them. That's not right. Well, it's not even alleged with R. Kelly, bro. You were on camera pissing on little girls, bro. So like we like we have a society that all this shit is just deemed to be okay. Like this is the same shit that brought down Solomon. Solomon Gomorrah. All you, all, you know, here's here's a, here's something to, just for thought. I don't want to cut your thought off, but I think the insertion of new age pornography is basically reversing everything that women fought for, because women are willing to, for money, degrade themselves at the expense of a little cash. Just a little bit of money they're willing to do these grotesque and disgusting things like getting big banged by 10 guys. Nobody wants to fucking watch that. And if you want to watch that, you're a sick fuck because that's not normal. And it shouldn't be normal. Shit, that's man. not. In our society. It's, it's disgusting. It's in disgusting. Our, in our society, cheating is only wrong if you get caught. Right. And that's also fucked up. And And that's part of the, it's part of the message. Like, it's the, man, that's the devil. If I ever heard it, I'm like, just saying all this gonna, is the devil. Am I gonna sit here and tell you people I ain't never cheated? Nope, because I ain't a fucking liar. Of course I have. I'm a fucking human. We've all done fucked up shit. I'm not saying we've all cheated, but we've all done fucked up shit. So, but you know what? You don't feel, and I know from personal experience, you don't feel good when that when after that shit happens. You might feel good <laughs> during the moment because who doesn't have sex and did not feel somewhat good unless you're getting raped. Right. So you know what I'm saying? But afterwards, you know you feel fucking wrong. You know you feel guilty. You feel like shit about yourself a little bit. And then you shrug it off in the car and tell you, say, it's all right. I didn't get caught, so I'm good. That's all that matters. Right. No one knows yet. So therefore, to stay to stay faithful, people sometimes use they watch porn just to make sure that they don't get that temptations to go outside and wander. Well, yeah, so they watch porn, they f- fire off a couple knuckle children, and then call it a day. You don't feel like cheating anymore. Now you're going to continue on your day because all you're trying to do is bust a nut. To some that's people, that's to some people out there, that's just as much as cheating. That ass, because you fantasize, because you fantasize about that person. It's not so much of, I guess, I guess it is a fantasize, but you know, it's more of a visual sexual well, like stimulation. Because there's a, all right, because there's a theory out there, right? That once you, if you mass, once, once you masturbate to somebody, you're mentally thinking about them, you're envisioning them in your subconscious and everything. So you're stealing a bit of their energy, right? So, That's that. That's where it becomes like you kind of cheated on them. 
because you legit you stole some of that person's energy you you weren't thinking about your significant other in that situation you were thinking about becky down the street or whoever it was in the video you know what i'm saying like you stole a bit of that person's energy so it's like it's like your energy slept with each other instead of you sleeping with each other and since you're nothing more than energy anyways really what's worse when you think we want to break it down in that route and want to go down this rabbit hole Because if you're nothing but energy and you and your wife are nothing but energies, that means your energies found each other and said, yes, I want to be yours for the rest of our lives, right? Like we're, right, we're compatible like, like on a molecular your, level all the way around. Exactly. All right. So you, And then by saying that, your bodies and your minds said, all right, we also agree that our bodies and minds are for one another. Bet. But since the original engagement was with your energy, because your energy makes any connection with any person out there way before your physical does, what would make it worse? The, the connection between your energies would have to be stronger. Right. So basically, like, I get where you're going with that. If you If you're breaking it down on a, in an intimate level as far as the connection the, the physical and spiritual connection um, so what you're saying is if, if, if you broke it down by like the, word, <coughs> like the word so if like say you know Sorry. You're, you're you know you're sleeping with your with your other half and for example just say for example you're thinking about Sandra Bullock that makes you a bad person because you're thinking about Sandra Bullock. Um, I mean, because because look, uh, you can be <laughs> physically and spiritually and emotionally in contact with your significant other, but just because you might have an image of somebody else, it doesn't make you unfaithful. Which is the why human I've, mind has hold the, on. the your hold subconscious on. your your subconscious is always running. So even by me and you are having this conversation right now, your subconscious is in the back of your mind running, jotting it all down. Right. So really, you can't really say that. Because if, if you go to sleep and you sleep and you dream about sleep banging whoever you said it was, Sandra Bullock or whoever it was, right. um, <clears throat> that means consciously while you were awake, you were thinking at some point, about banging Sandra Bullock. But I'm not actually doing it. I'm not actually acting on it. But are you though? Because there's also people that not out really because there's, there's, there's also people out there that believe that when you sleep that your subconscious that your body stays here but your energy travels throughout these alternate universes. So who's to say you didn't sleep? Who's to say you didn't try to just travel to a universe where you knew you could bang a Sandra Bullock? That was just the example, but I just reminding that. I just like my wife watches this. I just like I just <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, <laughs> you're the one that wanted to pick this topic, and this is what came from it. We went right. down the rabbit oh, hole. I, I, I'm feeling what you're saying. This is just me just spitballing all the randomness shit that I got and just trying to find something. Right. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't believe that when you masturbate, it's cheating on somebody. I'm just saying out there, I'm just saying, you can make, you can make the argument for it. I do believe that you travel when you sleep, though. Your subconscious travels through all the universes. I just believe that. Maybe. No, I believe it. I mean, you can say maybe. You don't have to believe it. I'm just telling you, I believe it. See, I don't dream. And if I do, it's pretty significant. For some reason, some way, shape, or form, it's always significant. See, you always dream, you just don't remember it. 
because we've had this conversation before. Also, you smoke, you, you're a big smoker right before you go to sleep, right? Like, even if it's just like hit the bowl one time. And as soon as you do that, you cut your body off of going into REM sleep, REM sleep fully. You know what I'm saying? Like, normally what you should do is, like, you should wait a couple, like, sit there for a couple hours after you smoke. So that way, you, when you go to sleep, your body's going to sleep all the way. I don't know, dude. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm typically maximum about seven minutes. From the moment I lay down and put my head on the pillow, about seven minutes later, I'm has, sound asleep. That has nothing to do with the mental cycles. You can't control that. I, I lay down in bed. There's something I about. I close my eyes and I say my nightly prayer and then I fall asleep. I listened to I listened to a, um, a sleep a guy. He was a guy. He was a neuroscientist. He was on a, Joe Rogan, and he he's a sleep scientist. He broke it down for him about how if you have just just having the THC in your system for you know in your brain and in your cells at the time of going to sleep, that it just it completely fucks with your REM cycles because you have different REM cycles. So yeah, you fall asleep quickly. Yeah, that's not the problem. But what the what I'm saying the problem is is that you don't get all those full REM cycles. So you don't fully get to the stage of REM to where you start to remember your dreams because you're deep sleeping, and you have those fucked up vivid dreams. Because you got to think about it. Anytime you're dreaming, those are usually the times when nothing else wakes you up but you. Those are when you're sleeping your hardest. And if you wake up during that dream, you're all like, what the fuck just happened? Like, right. how did I, like, you're always, when you wake up from those dreams, you're like, Where, how did I get here? Think about that, man. And tell me that's not your energy coming back in a hurry. Whatever it was, you, you, you just your essence said, all right, I got to go. And just came back. Right. I feel like once before in my life, I've had a moment where I've jumped out of bed quicker than I was coherent enough to, to uh, like understand what I was doing. Like I was sleeping. I was obviously dreaming. I don't remember when it was. I just remember doing it. And I woke up and I jumped out of bed so fast that by the time my eyes actually opened, I was already standing and walking out of my room. So it's like I, my body naturally woke up, started to do what it was supposed to do when being startled, woken up, and it started oh. to go through the motions of like basic functions before I actually came to and fully understand, stood that I am awake and this is what I'm doing. Like, you know, it's only a, just a, a second or two in between, but oh, yeah. it See, feels like had, a difference, like that. a delay. I've never had that like, happen. I like what, buffering. What? What I was talking about was when you wake up out of a dream. That whole, oh shit, what the fuck just happened? You know what I mean? Like that whole, how did I get here? You're like, you're lost. Like, I mean, like that initial moment, like, you know, like when you have a nightmare and you get to the point to where something bad's about to happen and then you wake up and you have, you jump up all startled, like, cause you feel like you're still in the dream and you're all like, oh, okay, okay, I'm home. I'm good now. You, you, now you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. I do. It's like it's like your energy rushed back. Like, I just got to get back. I got to get back. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden you wake up and you notice, like, you wake up and you it's kind of quick. You're startled. You feel your energy, you know, your heart's beating. Always. You feel like you feel like you could immediately just stand up and punch through a wall. Like you yeah. have that much energy built up inside of you. Yeah. Like something happened. Your body was telling your body was like, listen, dude, you need to get up and take a piss right now because if not, you're gonna piss the bed. <laughs> and and it was trying to figure out how to tell your mind, your subconscious, that yo, it is time to wake up. So then all of a sudden an alarm went off and you're like, Oh shit bam energy goes pow right back to you oh fuck you're up you're like oh my god i got a piece of man Whew, crisis averted <laughs> being one at mind and spirit 
like I like yo, I was some trippy stuff. Like I was listening to this um sleep guru last night. And uh he was he was teaching this thing. He's like he's like, you know, he's like the fact that people need straight out need eight hours of sleep. It's <coughs> not I mean it's not true. Like there's ways around it. He's like, and he's like, there's like weird, simple things. He's like, just one, like one, like one thing. If you lay down and you go to sleep, when you lay down in bed at night, 12 minutes before you go to sleep. So I took that as, you know what I mean? The average time to fall asleep is like, you know what I mean? 15 minutes, right? You would think, you know? So when you lay down in bed, I just, you just start to say to yourself, I'm not the body. <coughs> And I'm not the mind. And you just repeat that until you fall asleep. Nothing else. Kind of like you're meditating. Right? And he's like, within he's like, within it was like within a week to two weeks, you'll go from needing eight hours of sleep to only needing five to six hours of sleep. Bro. I'm gonna try it. I tried it last night. Maybe fall asleep faster. I know that much. I woke up with a lot more energy this morning. I like I woke up before my alarm went off and everything. Right. That's that's I rare. Just, I just made like a weird connection as I was thinking about it in my head as you were talking. See, you know how I've told you I feel like sometimes I've had visions, right? Or premonitions. Yep. I think I answered my own question. Because when I do go to bed every night, and I lay down, and I close my eyes, I start to say my prayer. I do it every night. And yeah, most I, of the times, most of the times, I fall asleep during my prayer. So I wonder if by doing that, I'm allowing my mind to be completely open for God. And so he understands, and he, like, like kind of gives me recognition, like, I see you. Here's a little something you should know. I don't know. It's weird. It's just a thought I had, though. It just, it kind of makes sense. And some, some mornings, I when I wake up and I open my eyes, I feel like saying "Amen" immediately. So, like, I basically I open a prayer and then fall asleep and see where it leads. But I do it. It's just something I do. I pray every night, no matter how tired I am, no matter how stoned I am. It doesn't matter. I fall asleep, close my eyes, I say my prayer. And that's that's it. I wake up. It's the next day, like almost immediately. Yeah, I don't always do that, to be honest with you. I have my own personal reasons. Some people like to pr like to pray multiple times throughout the day. Some people don't pray at all. It's it's fine, that's their preference. I choose to pray once a day. And it just it's always at bedtime. Because at the end of the day, I have something to be thankful for. Because first and foremost, I started the day by waking up. And then I had the whole day to look back on. And that's a blessing. So therefore, I pray as a way to say thank you. You started out on porn. Yeah. We can go back to porn. So I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, man, I feel more comfortable in the lane we're in. But uh, <laughs> it's an uncomfortable topic, man. Like, it's weird, people. It's weird. That's just that's so. It's, it's weird. Yes, we we weird. can all admit that we watch it. We're all grown. We can yeah. all admit that ninety percent of us at our age have made a porno or two ourselves. I mean, hey. we you know what I mean. We keep them for ourselves. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, folks. That's right. Check Pat out on OnlyFans. <laughs> Bam. You ever no. seen a hairy nipple? Uh, <laughs> but it's just Sometimes weird, I like that. It is weird. It's very weird. It's, it's a way it's, for him. You know. it's, it's a way for the devil to grab you. And it's, and it's sending the wrong message about everything. Everything. Let me tell you what, fellas, for all you young fellas, if you happen to be watching our show, which you shouldn't be because there's a certain age limit, but we'll say young fellas, like gentlemen in their early 20s, listen up. This is important. This is something that you need to know. 
from one man to another maturing man. <clears throat> Girls don't like it when you grab the, by their hair and shove your dick in their throat. They don't like it. It's uncomfortable. It chokes them. But what they because do of, like because of but because of video on on that you're watching, then there's several hundred videos of all pretty much the same thing, and it fucking makes you think that this is acceptable behavior. It's not, dude. It's not. If you don't if, listen, the only way I can explain this is right. Go take your cucumber and just shove it in your throat as far as you can, as fast as you can, as hard as you can. Oh, what you don't like that? It's uncomfortable. Welcome to the real world, pal, because it's always know. uncomfortable. But you know what they do like, guys? They like when they hold when you hold their hair out of the way. Exactly. No one wants hold it up out of the way. But don't grab the back of their head and don't don't force yourself. That's just right. You can grab unless unless you can grab their hair and place the hand on the top of their head. That's basically fine. But you ain't gotta be forcing that some bitch like Right. It's just no. What do you what do you no? Let me poke it through the back of your head. That shit doesn't happen in real life. And if you hope that or, or, or thought that it would happen that way, you're going to be sadly mistaken because you Hold might on, get Pat. killed. Hold on, I'm just saying, you might get murdered. Hold on. Some chicks do that on their own. Some chicks like a deep throat. So you can't say right. all chicks, though. But they're the chicks that grew up on the era of Pornhub. That's all right. So they're, they're like, oh, I want to try this. And they like it. And look, hey, fine. That's fine. And you know what? But, and I like receiving But that, I'm just saying... But I'm just saying that's that's on a, a video, and a video is for entertainment. And therefore, but you know what? But you know what? You can't. Real. But you can't say they all don't want it because some of them do want it. You just haven't met those ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm pleading the fifth on that one. I'm just saying. Most normal that's, chicks. Most that's normal. Not, ch- that's hold on. Most normal chicks don't want it. But you, there is right. those out there that do, and those like, ones right. they don't, are the they weird don't have ones that are probably watching this show, and they're probably so offended with you right now. Like you know what, Joe's right. We do like it. He's a fucking <laughs> asshole. No man, you know. Hey, everybody's got their thing, right? And there's a lot of weird people, and there are a lot of a lot of people doing a lot of weird shit, and uh, whatever, do you? But I'm just saying. Stop playing in real controls. life, and unless it's consensual, people don't like that shit. And if you don't like it or believe anything that I'm saying about it, that's fine. Fuck you. Do what I said. Go grab a cucumber and shove it in your throat and see how you like it. That's just <laughs> as a person. It's not right. It's oh, uncomfortable. Man. It hurts. That's all I'm saying. Have you tried? No, my, I don't have a very big mouth. I couldn't I mean, eat a cucumber. It kind of sounds. I could like... barely. I could barely bite an apple. Kind of sounds like you're speaking from experience, bro. No. Nah. Are you kidding me? Yo, straight up, I could never be gay, bro. Because, and this is the this is the first and most important fact. Look, I can't even brush my teeth without wanting to throw up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How am I ever going <laughs> to have a dick in my mouth if I can't brush my teeth without Yo, gay? All right? We can fist pump so it. So right there now. you go. Fist pump it. Pound it. No, nope, other side. Other side. There you go. Am I down? I don't know where my camera is. We're, you're, Bam. you're right here. Bam, nigga. <laughs> Shit. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. This whole society's fucking weird, bro. Shout out to Mymar. We hear you, Mymar. We stand with you. Keep Shout fighting. Out. Absolutely. The whole world is watching you. They see you. They see what's going on. We all see what's going on. We see what's trying to happen. I pray for your I pray for the best. I hope when I pray. they open up the internet back in my mind, they start watching our show. Like oh, these guys have been shouting us out every episode. They shoot every other day. They're talking about us. Right. That's the one thing that, you know, I was, I was watching this video earlier about Myanmar. And they said the difference between 1946 and the 19, it was 1969 or no, 19, yeah, 1969 was that back in the day, they didn't have technology. They didn't have the internet. So nobody knew about what was really happening. You know, there's no way that people across the world would know about a little place called Myanmar or Burma, you know, and 
that's what the people have right now. That's their only tool. They have the internet. They're trying to get it out to anyone who would, who's willing to accept their message. And uh, we're one of those people, yo. Safety meeting. We, we see what's happening and we realize you're in a fucked up scenario. And the only way you guys are going to make it is together. So stay Fuck together. Fuck Tom Brady. Maya Marstrong. Fuck Tom Brady. So, uh, I know this is supposed to be a porn episode, but uh, I want to talk about something. Like so much I, I can. I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I had fun with it a little bit. <coughs> I have. I, who? If you had, if you were the Jacksonville Jaguars, who would you take with the number one overall draft pick? Would you take Trevor Lawrence? Would you take a quarterback? Or do no. you think, or, or do you think Gardner Minshew is just, you know, it, it, that he's, he's not trash, bro. He's not trash. I think, uh, I think if they were to, if they were smart, they would take that kid from Alabama, that receiver. Which one? There's two of them. The number six, the guy that won the husband. Heisman. See, I think 17 is better. Well, either so. or would be a, a really good asset, but that's one of the biggest problems Jacksonville has. They don't have any his, depth at the wide receiver position. I think his name was Whittle or Waddle or something like that, number 17 for Alabama wide receiver. Tell him I'm putting it down right now. He's going to end up being the best receiver in the draft coming out this year. Watch it. I don't know. The other, though, the other kid, I can't think of his name right now, but. Devontae He's Smith. Good, man. I want to say it's Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith sounds about right. I've actually seen a lot he's of things. He's I've, special. Actually, I've actually seen a lot of things in, uh, in in the news lately talking about how he's going to start falling. Because everyone everyone yeah. first off takes that, that kid from LSU over him. That uh, Jamal Charles, whatever his name is. I don't know. I don't really know his name. He's from LSU. I have no idea. I know he's. I know he's from LSU. LSU, and his name is Jamar or some shit like that, or Jamal. Something is weird because it's hmm. got like it's. I say it's weird because it's got like a little hyphen in the middle. But everyone, everyone takes him as a better receiver. Everyone's got him going number three. <clears throat> See, if it was me, I wouldn't even take receiver, bro. I would take a lineman. I'd trade for a quarterback. I'd get Gardner Minshew, bro. Yeah, but I'd trade for a quarterback, too. I'd go get another quarterback from somewhere. Mm, see, I'm not that type of person. I think, I, I think the best way for Gardner to get better is to let him play. I mean – what was their record last year? Yeah, but look what they also look what they did though. The beginning of the season, they traded away all their pieces, got away of their running back, got rid of their running back, got rid of fucking their pretty much most of their defense. You know what I mean? Like they were tanking for a reason. Yeah. Maybe they're supposed to tank. Maybe that's uh, ultimately the goal, so that they should sell the team and move them to a different state because there's too much competition in Tampa and Miami. They keep on saying that, that, that they want to that they're going to go to uh, London. When the Jaguars go to London, they sell out, bro. <laughs> it's weird. Hmm. It is weird. Maybe because a lot of Brits have been to Florida, go to Disneyland know. and shit. You know, there really is. There's lots of people from all over the world that go to Florida. They're, they're no. just, there's, they're everywhere. You wouldn't think, man, it's a tourist. You, you know, you wouldn't think that there's people from all around the world that go to tourist locations. I'm just saying, man. You wouldn't, you, I'm just, I'm so am I, man. You're just saying, you wouldn't think that people go to tourist locations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. 
one time I was at a CC's pizza, me and Trace and Kate and Kaylee were eating some pizza at a CC's. And uh I'm, I'm only pointing this out. I'm only I was only pointing this out because it was what it was. So we're the only white people in in the whole place. And uh but literally like there was a little bit of somebody from all over the world in the CCs at the same time as us. We had we had Asians, we had Europeans, we had Africans, we had Mexicans, like not just saying that like actual Mexicans from Mexico. Uh, uh everywhere, dude, all at CCs. And you know who stood out the most other than me? <laughs> the Chinese guy. Uh Actually, yeah, the Chinese guy. He really stood out the most. They they're having a hard, they're having a hard time communicating with everybody. They're just having a really hard time. So, uh, I didn't try to help them or anything. I'm like, Fucking welcome dick. to America. This is how it works. If we were over in China, you wouldn't be like, "Oh, I'm sorry, sir. What can I help you with?" No, you looking at me like, "Why the fuck are you here?" That's just how Chinese people are. It's Chinese people. Two rights don't, two wrongs don't make it right, Pat. Does it? No, it doesn't. Two wrongs do not make it right. All right, just because he's an ass Chinese, doesn't... so how could I help him? Konishiwa. I don't even know if that's Chinese. Right. Uh, um, you don't even know. <laughs> egg, egg roll. No. See, now that just sounds stereotypical. I mean, it's got to be your word. It's got to be an Asian word, bro. Oh, so I'm just All saying, Asian countries have a version of an angel. If he's, if he's, if, I, you know, I can speak a little Spanish. That's as far as it goes. Como estas? Está bien, gracias. Si, tú? Oui. Si. I know. Wee oui, wee, oui, Francais. Wee oui, wee, oui, Francais. Yes, yes, France. <laughs> yes, yes. Wee oui, wee, oui, but of course. It's Eric and laughing every time, man. I just walk around the house and be like, wee oui, wee, oui, Francais. And she just, she just die laughing. <laughs> Sat there the other day. We were sitting there, and J- JJ was asking him something about if she could speak any. She could speak any other languages. <clears throat> I looked at him like I can. He goes, "Yeah, what?" I'm like, "I can speak France." He goes, "Yeah, let me hear." I'm like, "We oui, we oui, Francais." She just starts dying of laughing. <laughs> he goes, "What'd you just say?" I'm like, "Your mom tell you." She starts laughing. She, she couldn't say it. <laughs> Yes, yes, France. <laughs> si, si, Espanol. <laughs> it doesn't sound as fun. I mean, it doesn't sound as good because Espanol is in Spain or Mexico. It's Spanish. Or, yeah, it's Spanish. Whereas, yeah. whereas so, si, si. Yes, yes, Spanish. Yeah, but mine's yes, yes, France. There's definitely Viva la resistance. (laughs) (laughs) Mexico. Yes, yes, Mexico. No, it doesn't sound as good. (laughs) Here's a weird thought, Joe. So all these things that we have, these tablets, these devices, these systems, all these access to the internet. It's all magic. How, why is it? How, how, here's a weird thought. And, and I had one of my friends one time bring this up to me. He says, how is it that in order to use these devices to educate yourself, it costs money? But if you want to learn about something evil, it's always free. Well, yeah. And I, and I never, like, 
I didn't fully understand and grasp because, you know, this is quite some time ago and I, I never really thought about it until it became abundantly clear. Like you're absolutely right. Everything that's educational and informative comes with a price, but everything that you want to know about being an evil, bad person, it's all at the, it's right at your fingertips and it's fucked up like porn. Remember back when, back in the day when it used to cost money? <coughs> you used to have to pay a fee. Nope. I, I I remember. I remember. No, nope. I mean, see, you I'm were just. Nope. You were just stupid to the game back then, too. All you had to do was go to these sites, use a different email, and sign up for a free trial. And then cancel the subscription as soon as you do it, and you still get it for the free trial. I know how it works, but I'm still saying it was always back free. In the bro. Day, Never paid a dime. Ba- but back in the day, education and growth was free, and you had to pay was for it? porn. And, was it though? And, and it, yeah. Was it though? You sure about that? Because don't you pay for a library subs- uh, subscription? No. You sure about that? You got to pay to take books off the library, bro. That shit ain't free. I don't have a library card. But if you were to go to the fucking library, that's back in the day, that was the only place you could get information. They were still te- teaching the same brainwashed bullshit fit 100 years ago in school as they are today. Just about different shit because different shit was applied. But they weren't teaching the truth. Our parents and grandparents didn't get grown up raised hearing the truth in school they get, were raised getting brainwashed just like we was this is this is deep rooted bro this goes hundreds and hundreds of years maybe even centuries people just being brainwashed into believing in some bullshit but we're gonna hide the truth from you but we're not gonna really hide it hide it you gotta just find it you gotta dig for it right it's not that you can't handle the truth. You're just too dumb for it yet. Like, and we like to keep you that way because the dumber you are, the easier the truth can be hidden. Yeah. Because, yo, you know how much shit that they teach you in you know elementary school and high school about, like, we'll just go Native American culture. A lot of it ends up being wrong, especially if you take a Native American culture class. in in college like Erica did and then she finds out everything she learned in school was pretty much wrong I'm like well yeah right because you're giving you're you're teaching history from a white man's point of view exactly from a standardized this is what we want to know as a state point of view whereas college is more of I mean it's still standardized and still have tests that you have to learn but there's so much more information that you can accumulate in college than you could have ever accumulated in high school. Right. They give you, they just pretty much, they give you the, they give you the thumbnail. Exactly. They give you the thumbnail of what it could be. And if you choose to pursue it, it, it is there, but we're not going to provide it for you. You got to look for yourself. Exactly. Like, and if, I think if they put it to a lot of kids like that, you wouldn't have so many kids dropping out of school. I think that's why another reason why they make why why they they make it so where so easy for kids just to drop out. I don't think that I don't think even this is coming from a kid that dropped out of high school. I don't think that it should be a teenager's uh, uh, decision. It should it shouldn't even be an option. Dropping out Ex- of school should exactly. be an option. That's my point. It should not be your decision. Like it shouldn't be an option. It shouldn't be something that you can you know. Sit there and say, all right, I'm 16. I don't want to go to school anymore. I don't know how it is in all states, but I know in New York, that's how it is. So at 16, I just chose, I ain't going to school no more. I can drop out, dropping out. I mean, and I wasn't stupid. I didn't have bad grades or nothing like that. Like, I just didn't want to go to school anymore. So I just chose not to go to school. Like, since going to school, I'm going to have to get a regular job anyways, right? can't go to college so might as well just go get a regular job now that was my thought process 
Because that's how society breaks it down to young kids nowadays, bro. Like, you, like, like, if you come from certain situations, you really ain't got no up. It's just what you dealt. It's what you got. If you can't afford to go to college, you got to go get a regular-ass job. Which means you only really need a GED to do anything. You can work at McDonald's while you get a GED. Shit. At least then I'm making money. And I ain't got to go to school all day. I don't know, man. And now at 32, I got the same qualifications as a lot of people that were, sat there and finished high school. See, I, I, have, I value education. I think it's I important do. to continuously educate yourself. I do too, bro. Have to be that's based off a textbook, you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I still continue to educate myself all throughout the way. It's just I just didn't want to go to school no more. Like I they could, gave I me that option, I, you know. Like for years and years, I always was like, man, I feel bad because I didn't go to college. Like I felt bad because I didn't go do the, you know, go pursue you know a different career choice or blah 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 i played the so what back, if game so go back to college was, nigga damn no 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 hear me out hear me out though but when i think about it <clears throat> without going to college uh throughout life i managed to get myself in tremendous debt with with or without those student loans so then why would okay so it, it actually shows that and I'm not trying to knock the, the, the system, but it shows that uh, having a college degree doesn't really mean shit anymore. It really doesn't. Depends what you go for. It's like a, it, it depends on what you go for, but there has to be a supply and demand for whatever it is you're going for. There has see, to be a demand for that field or else it's never going to really get to take off. That is the student's fault. That's these kids going to school and saying, I'm just going to get a liberal, liberal arts degree. So, the, uh, so that's your fault. The, kind of, but, but basically, but the point that I was getting to it is that I didn't go to college and I don't, and for a long time I felt bad about it, but I don't feel bad about it because in the absence of college, I can, I can reflect on all the things that I've done. See, and bro, I, I don't know, man, I feel like, I've lived life, you know, I feel like I've got to experience and see a lot of things that most people never will. And I've lived, I've had tons of successes. I've had tons of failures and you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if where, I had a chance to do it all over again, I would. Where I'm getting at is there, there has to be some accountability to the person themselves that went to school and got that bullshit degree in a, in a field that they knew there weren't a lot of fucking jobs in. What were you going to do with a liberal? All right. You're, you're in your thirties. I'm in my thirties. What do you do with a liberal arts, arts degree? Like a lot of these weird fucking little bullshit degrees that a lot of these people take at a lot of these party schools that are kids that shouldn't have really went to college. They should have went to a trade school, but their parents really wanted them to go to college. So they went what to college. You? Like the people that should be going to college, just cut this how it is. Lawyers, doctors, teachers, you know, that's pretty much it. Professors, scientists, shit like that. You know, shit that there's always going to be something you need it for. Other, other than that, go get you a fucking trade. Go learn how to do something. Right. Go learn you know, how to build a house. Why go learn to... how to fucking lay block or, you know, lay some tile. Fuck. Why, why do we need a bunch of kids that went to college for free to play a trumpet? Or whatever. How are you going to go get a... How... Like... I'm not knocking you for your musical talent, but I'm also saying you and people that play play football and basketball, shit like that, you shouldn't have got free college. You know who should have got free college? That guy who just saved that little kid's life who died in a car accident or almost died in a car accident. 
You know what I mean? Doctors, surgeons. So free college as a reward? I don't think you should have to pay for college, bro. I don't think you should have I to agree pay with you for on that education. One. I agree with you on that one. And if like, it is, it should I'm be not, a bare I'm minimum. Not, I'm not saying it as a reward, but I'm just what I'm saying. If we slim down what college is, there wouldn't be it's all an institution. these. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is. It's it, it's a business. That's what it is. Like that's all it boils down to. You guys are just we're just gonna house your kids that you don't want anymore because they're eighteen, and you're gonna pay me for it. That's what it is. Because you're giving a lot of these kids degrees that, like you said, they're going to they're gonna hit the real world and they can't fucking use it. Right. You, like you got, uh, this is just a made up name, but you got Jeff down the street who's got a fucking bachelor's in both marine biology and, uh, you know, something else. And uh, he works at Burger King. Like, yeah. If you're going to go get something like accounting, then maybe we should just set something where there's schools that are just meant for people to go get an accounting degree. Don't send them to a big ass university that's got football players and basketball players, and doctors. Maybe if we just break it down to where you let these kids go ahead and say, yeah, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. So you send them to a school that's meant for just fucking doctors and just lawyers. There's no reason to send this, the, the, the have a, have a colleges for sports. You could just have the, you could just have the NCAA be a fucking minor league. Like it really is. Boohoo. You're going to have to pay the players. You should anyways. Got a lot of these kids that ruin a potential NFL career by just playing for you. If you don't believe me, Google Marshawn Lattimore. South Carolina running back. Ruined him. That boy would have been the next Adrian Peterson. Then he blew out. Then he had one of the worst knee injuries I've ever seen. See, the problem is, is education sometimes. Education has really been dumbed down. And they're not teaching these kids stuff that's actually valuable and in a way that makes them want to pay attention. Like and they, they're, they're, they're making it boring. They're making it lame. They're making it basic, but complicating the fuck out of basic for absolutely no reason. Like mathematics. Don't yes, get me started I on was that. core co- comic. Don't core get me math started on that. Is the oh dumbest God. thing in the world, bro. They're fucking I was morons. sitting here. I was sitting here doing work with with Eli the other day, and they wanted to know the number bands, and I had to get JJ to explain to me what the hell a number band is. He's like, oh. Do, do you see the number right there over in the circle that's five? I'm like, yeah. He's like, just put two numbers to add up to five. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> that's all <laughs> they wanted to know? It could be any two numbers? <laughs> like, yeah, just like, so I'm like, all right. So, you know, any two numbers to add up to five. So I just went one and four, and then there was another one. So we just did two and three, like the fuck like that's stupid why did you have to word it like that because you already know as a teacher that you didn't hear that as as a kid so why are you going to confuse the fuck out of the parent now i gotta relearn math you know like like it don't make any sense like you can't just you can't just like i'm i'm glad that jj is somewhat out of that like, you know what I mean? Because when they do math, they do it normal. Like, he's over here doing long division, the old school way on paper, you know? So, that I'm down with. But sitting there and having a simple question of two plus two and then having to explain how you got four doesn't make any sense. 
What do you mean how I got four? It's just because that's what it is. That's why. Yeah, no, we want you to take this number and you multiply it by this number and then you divide it by this. And it, no, man. Right. It's it's because it if I have two apples and you have two apples and we put them together, we now have four fucking apples. That's why it's four, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Like, come on. We need to. We need to keep educating them. They need to learn. What was that acronym back in the day when we we were kids? Kiss. Keep it simple, silly. Keep it simple, stupid. Well, you know, I was trying to be nice, but yeah, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it nice. We've been talking about porn all night. <laughs> you can't say stupid. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Keep it simple, silly. Who says that? Because that was the saying when I was a kid, bro. That's what they said to us. Oh, teachers didn't call no, us stupid. Man. No, it's kiss, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. But either way, From you know band. what I'm saying. Yeah, I only heard it in school, bro. I only oh. heard it. I only heard it from teachers. Keep it simple. I grew up listening to rock music, so kiss has been a long thing, long time thing. We know. I we've been over this. I don't listen to rock music, bro. I don't find the. You need to become more. You you need to become more musically cultured, Joe. It's not that I'm not musically cultured. I don't like the sound of it, bro. I've listened to rock music before. I. It's not that I haven't listened to it. I just don't like the sound of rock and roll. There is some soft rock that I like, but I don't like rock and roll, bro. Rock rock is not my, my is not my genre. Mm. Something about a electric guitar just squealing off some notes, bro. I would rather sit here and mm. listen to the Temptations than listen to any rock song that you can give me. And I will sit here any? and sing along to the Temptations. I'm you ain't hearing me sing along along to none of the songs you can, that you can come at me with. I'm calling bullshit. You're calling bullshit. Yeah, name a Temptation song. I can't name them, bro, but it doesn't mean I can't oh. fucking sing it. So let's hear it. If you start singing, I'll sing along. Fuck no, I ain't singing on the podcast, dude. I don't sing to my kids. So, oh, so therefore you're talking shit. No, I'm not talking shit. Eric, you can vouch for me. <laughs> Text Eric when we get off this some bitch. She'll vouch for me. I only sing no. to my kids, bro. I'm not singing on here. I only sing to my kids. That's dead, dead fat. You will never hear me sing in your entire life. I only sing to my kids. The Temptations. The Temptations. Do you want me to kind of have Carrie come in uh, shouting distance to let you know that, yes, I walk around the house singing the Temptations to the kids? Because she can attest to it because she lives here. So he, she hears it. Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran, sing all that to the kids. Rock and roll, not my music, bro. It gives me a headache. It just, I just don't like it. That's how I, I feel know. about. Uh... I don't understand why you can't respect that. Because <laughs> you know, I do respect it, but no, you try don't. Because you to be open minded. No, you don't. There's so much it. history and culture and rock music. There's more but it's, to but see, that's the just thing. rock. That's the thing. It's not my history or culture. It's not mine either. No, it is. That's the thing. Music is music expresses the culture of the world. Bro, we we we, we talked about this with Drunk Manly the other day, man. Music <laughs> is culture. As much as we want to say it's not, it's culture, bro. That's the way I, that's the way the world looks at it. That's not my culture. That's your culture. So it's not my history. But I know music. All of my music history, really, except the, like the, the the Bangladesh music. I don't understand that. I'll be honest with you. I would rather listen to um, music from India than listen to rock and roll music. I can't understand what they're saying, but the beats are fire, and their voices go with it. I used to do DoorDash, so I went into a lot of Indian restaurants. And they would always have their music banging in the background. This one place would have the music videos going on and everything. I'm like, dude, it's just pretty. 
I, I don't like your food. It smells. I don't like the smell of it, but uh, I'm down to the music, man. <laughs> don't know what they're saying, but I like the music. I really want to do an impression, but it would be awful, so I can't do it. Of course you can, man. This is America. Freedom of speech. No, I, 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 no, I just, my voice doesn't get that high. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck, man? Stop stepping on the cat. No, see, there was a couple of those, but it was by the girls, and it sounded, it actually sounded pretty good. But I'm just saying, bro, like rock and roll music just isn't my thing, man. I had a, I have a friend of mine, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he played me a, a couple of songs from where he's from. He's uh uh, he's from Albania and like you know some of their pop artists and stuff they have over in there that, and uh, yeah man some of, their, some of the, the beats they were putting down were definitely nice I mean I understand, understand who, who or anything what I, like I think I saw like <laughs> uh, like like the Albanian version of Pitbull I think but <laughs> It, I mean, it was still cool. He was digging it, and therefore I was digging it because, you know, we were working together all day, and he's listening to my music most of the day. So I'm, in return, you know, I'm like, fire up your shit. Let's hear what you got. And we listen to his music for the rest of the day because, you know, I'm cool like that. I don't give a fuck what it is as long as there's some sound playing in the background and drives you from going insane. No, no, no. Your music would make me go insane. Dude, you... you See, I uh, listen to everything Steve, on the spectrum, though. I really Steve, do. I listen Steve, to rap. I listen to country. We're, I listen we're talking to fucking... about we're talking about rock and roll, bro. We're talking about rock, whatever you want to break it down to. That whole subgenre, metal, metal, like it's an acquired taste. Yeah, man. Like, I, I, and, I, I, and I respect when, that. When I was walking around the shop in them days, I didn't have my headphones because that's all they would listen to on the radio. Like, oh, oh my god, man. I just don't like listening to it. K-Rock bothers me. The I radio don't... itself bothers me. I hate like, listening to the well, radio. Yeah. It's not no, like it's it just... was when I was growing up. I don't know, man. Like I just don't like I just don't like it. It takes me back to when I was a teenager and I was hanging out with my buddies who thought they were gonna be rock and roll stars. And they were banging on the drums. And it just they thought they sounded amazing. And I did not see. I don't. I don't like 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 I don't like metal. You know, I don't like any of that shit. I don't like death metal. I don't like that screaming shit. I'm like everybody else. I, there's something about it. I don't like hearing people scream. I don't like that. It doesn't sound like music to me. It sounds like you're summoning the devil. I'm not into see, all that. I think that music should evoke emotion and take you somewhere mentally. If it does not do that then it's just not for me. Rock and roll just doesn't do that. Like, there's certain songs, right. like Sweet Home Alabama. It's just one of those songs. It's just, just a fun... Well, I, my, I mean, my dad is from the South. So, yeah. he would, he, you know, growing up in the work van with him, that was one of his songs. You know what I mean? And then there's stuff by... Um, who was that one group that Ma likes? Journey. Some of that sure. kind of stuff. I'll listen to some of that. Don't stop believing. Yeah. yeah but that, that's that's only because it brings back nostalgic. But outside of that, most rock and roll music don't catch my ear, man. Like, it's just like, yeah, can, we, cool. can we change this? Can we listen to something else? Re- Disney Channel's like probably that. got something. Kaylee wouldn't really probably listen to rock music if I didn't influence her at Ooh. such a young age. No, I also don't like the rap music where they find they find themselves just talking about the same thing over and over again. Or they're always yeah. just talking about how much money they've made. You know, or mumble rap in general. Can't stand it. Yeah, it's just nonstop. It's like a re- they're on repeat over and over and over. Yeah. Like if you Can I give you an example? Go for it. <clears throat> 
Back then, ho didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Back then, ho didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Back then, ho didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Right? Repeat. Yeah. It's on fucking repeat. My John. Oh, can I say that? I just did, I guess. Nobody watches that shit anyway. <laughs> Pat, you feeling safe? I'm feeling safe. Feeling what pretty you? chilly. Yeah. What'd you learn tonight? We're all a bunch of sick fucks. Yes. But uh, it's acceptable because it's 2021. And nothing's off limits anymore. Except free speech and censorship. <laughs> And uh, knowledge and truth and uh, lessons and teachings. Those are all bad. But you can watch Pornhub all day long. They have a $300 membership. Amazing. It's a. <laughs> Why would you pay for something that's free? <laughs> it's a lifetime membership. Like you can pull it up on your Roku and everything. It's like I can a watch it channel. for the rest. I can watch it for a lifetime as it is right now for free. Look, I don't understand it either, but I'm just saying it's out there. It's available. You can get it. Lifetime. You know I mean? Or you know what else Any I device. can do? You know what else I can Stream. do? Stream. 1080p. You know, else, you know what else we can do? Hmm. Look at our old age titties. 2020. Bam. Unless you're a little fucked up right here. <laughs> but either way, if you're fucked up right here, it's going to be even more fucked up on the screen. So clear vision, bro. Real titties. Real titties. You can feel them way better. Oh, way they're better. squishy. Yep. Mm. Nice and warm. Smell like cinnamon buns. Like pinching a raisin. Oh, yeah. A raisin? Are your old lady's titties wrinkly, bro? You got something to say? No, nah, dude. How do you feel? No. No, I'm not going to play your game, sir. Mouthful, is, how, mouth, okay. mouthful oh, and a half. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so if you think, <laughs> yeah, if you think, if you think that the equivalent of the size of a raisin is a reference to old, so is it, what? What? what is Erica got like fucking half dollars. What are we talking here? I mean, no, no. See, I thought you, you meant, wanted to make it weird. Let's go weird. <laughs> Fuck it. I I thought you meant texture. <laughs> I thought you meant the no, texture. Not texture. Of a raisin. That's why I'm like, like a raisin. Got, like the like. like like she's got wrinkly like, titties, bro. Like, what the fuck? I couldn't think of it. I couldn't think of anything else because it's not quite a P, you know. It's not quite you, a P. It's a little bigger then you, than a P. And then you started doing this, and that's why I said mouthful and a half. I'm like, it's way more than that finger size that I can give you. Mouthful and a half. It's what I know. Best describer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like we had, like I had this problem. I went to go buy her something. And I thought I needed to know her, you know, her boob size for it, but I guess I didn't. I wasn't sure. And I'm like, I didn't want to ask the lady because I'm like, what am I going to look at the lady and who's going to be like, mouthful and a half? Best I can tell you, it's only. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, that is not a good description. It's all I know. <laughs> it, uh, could maybe didn't I don't know I don't know where to go from here. Um, could you find somebody who's a roughly about this big, maybe that I could reference? I'm not sure. I don't know. I, that's why I don't. But I don't do that. Nope. So Tracy, nope. if you need to go buy you some bras and panties and all that, go right ahead. That's why I have an awesome cousin who's building me a table. Hell yeah. And she was completely down for it. She's like, fuck yeah, I'll take the table. So it's, it's a win-win. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know about Pat, but I'm ready to say I love y'all. Well, I love you too, Joe. Oh, you weren't saying that to me. No, I was saying You're talking that, to them. I was saying that to y'all. Him? Those guys. Sometimes, but y'all always love y'all. Appreciate y'all. If you like any of this, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget that subscribe button and the little notification bell it goes ding. Find us Let on you YouTube. Know when we are uh, we're Facebook. always looking this up. Find us on Facebook too. We got a fan page. Safety safety meeting. Safety meeting. 
Stay safe. Be good. Be good to each other.